Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Australia has unveiled a record defense budget of 55.7 billion Australian dollars, 36.8 billion US dollars, for 2025, marking a 6.3% increase from the previous year and accounting for 2.02% of the nation's GDP. This significant budgetary boost highlights Australia's dedication to fortifying its military capabilities amid escalating geopolitical tensions in the Indo-Pacific region. The defense budget breakdown reveals substantial allocations aimed at both acquiring new assets and maintaining existing ones. Notably, 16.7 billion Australian dollars is earmarked for equipment acquisitions, while 17.2 billion Australian dollars is designated for the upkeep of current assets. The Navy, in particular, receives 10.7 billion Australian dollars, reflecting Australia's strategic emphasis on maritime strength. A considerable portion of the naval budget is directed towards the acquisition of nuclear-powered submarines under the AUKUS agreement with the United States and the United Kingdom. The spending on these submarines is set to increase dramatically, from 475 million Australian dollar last year to 2.8 billion Australian dollar next year, eventually reaching 4.97 billion Australian dollars by the 2027 to 2028 fiscal year. This investment underscores the pivotal role that these submarines play in enhancing Australia's underwater warfare capabilities. In addition to submarines, the naval budget includes 813 million Australian dollars for 600 class frigates and 587 million Australian dollars for six Arafura class offshore patrol vessels. These vessels are integral to Australia's maritime defense strategy, providing versatility and advanced capabilities in patrol and combat operations. The Army is allocated 11.8 billion Australian dollars for advanced assets, including boxer armored vehicles, redback infantry fighting vehicles, Huntsman self propelled howitzers, high mobility artillery rocket systems, M1A2 Abrams tanks, advanced surface to air missile systems, and new helicopters. These acquisitions are designed to modernize the Army's capabilities and ensure readiness to respond to diverse threats. The Air Force is set to receive 9.5 billion Australian dollars with a significant portion dedicated to the procurement of F-35A fighter jets. Out of the 72 F-35 as ordered, 9 are still pending delivery. The Air Force's capability plans have been impacted by the two-year delay in the arrival of 4 MC-55A Peregrine electronic warfare aircraft, highlighting challenges in maintaining an edge in aerial and electronic warfare. The Australian Signals Directorate, tasked with foreign signals intelligence and cybersecurity, will receive 2.7 billion Australian dollars, underscoring the importance of cyber capabilities in modern defense. Additionally, 1 billion Australian dollars is allocated for defense intelligence, reinforcing Australia's focus on strategic and tactical intelligence gathering. Further allocations include 1.3 billion Australian dollars for the Capability Acquisition and Sustainment Group and the Guided Weapons and Explosive Ordnance Enterprise, which aims to bolster sovereign production of missiles and munitions. This investment is critical for ensuring a reliable supply of advanced weaponry and maintaining strategic autonomy. Australia's defense strategy is heavily influenced by its strategic alliances. The ANZUS Treaty and the AUKUS Pact with the United States and the United Kingdom are central to Australia's defense posture, especially concerning the development of nuclear submarine capabilities and advanced defense technologies. Moreover, Australia's participation in the Quad Alliance with the US, Japan, and India enhances regional security cooperation and collective response mechanisms. The Indo-Pacific region's geopolitical environment has grown increasingly complex, with China's assertive actions and military expansion prompting Australia to significantly enhance its defense capabilities. The 2024 National Defense Strategy emphasizes the necessity of a robust and self-reliant defense force to address strategic competition and potential threats in the region. This strategy prioritizes investments in long-range strike capabilities, autonomous systems, and the fortification of military bases in northern Australia. Australia's proactive defense approach, supported by unprecedented budget allocations, aims to ensure national security and maintain a strategic balance amid evolving regional dynamics. By investing heavily in advanced military assets and fostering strategic alliances, Australia is positioning itself to counter coercive tactics and promote a free and open Indo-Pacific, contributing to regional stability and security. That's all for now, see you later.